This is John T for the Boxing Voice, talking to lightweight sensation Adam Azim. How are you doing, Adam? I'm great, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm really good, thank you. Thank you for having me down. Just been watching you spar for a couple of hours. Uh, I think I need to go for a little bit of a sleep now. God knows how you feel after that. <laughs> I'm glad that you enjoyed the session and that, uh, thank you for having us as well. No, nah, no worries. Listen, I was just watching you. You punch more like a middleweight rather than a lightweight. Yeah. So look, there's a lot of noise about you at the moment, Adam. I read an article the other day that actually said you're the number one amateur prospect in the world. How does that sound? It feels great uh, that people admire my boxing and uh, it's like a dream to actually become one of the um, prospects in the world. Okay, excellent. So we know about your amateur pedigree. We talked yeah. about that a uh, week before last, I think, on the Boxing Voice. So, any noise yet about when you might be making your pro debut? Um, hopefully, we've been, we know in a couple of weeks about our pro debut. Um, hopefully, it'll be soon that I'll announce it on social media. So, um, yeah. Okay, excellent. And that, that's likely to be live on TV, Adam, yeah, is that hopefully right? Hopefully, it'll be live on TV. Uh, it'll be great that I'll be on TV. It's one of my dreams to be on TV straight away and fight on the first pro debut. Well, well, that's what I was about to ask. To yeah. start with your debut on live TV must be yeah. a great feeling. It's, it's one of my great dreams, actually, to be on TV. Uh, everyone can watch me and um, see, showcase my skill on TV. Excellent. So you've just turned 18. I think you've been boxing since you were four, is that right? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Brilliant. So you now feel you're ready for the step up. Yeah. When we spoke to your dad earlier, he mentioned that he didn't want to wait for the Olympics because everything keeps getting delayed. Yeah. And going pro now seemed like the right thing. Yeah. Have you got your eye on anyone at domestic level? Um, domestic level, I just I want to get 10 fights in. I want to uh, get my name out there. I want everyone to know I'm coming from the lightweight division. Um, but mostly in my eye on the prize is, is in USA, uh, like Deborah Haney, Ryan Garcia. And those are the people I want to fight, uh, hopefully in a few years' time. Excellent. Now, how, how do you think you're going to fare against Devin Haney or Ryan Garcia? Um, I'm, I'm capable for beating them. I think um, hopefully if I keep uh, going what I'm doing in boxing, then I can achieve to the highest stage and fight them hopefully in the future. Okay, excellent. Well, look, I think it's going to be announced, if it hasn't already, that Ryan Garcia will be fighting Luke Campbell in November behind closed doors at a yet-to-be-chosen venue in America. Who do you see winning that? Um, it's a great fight uh, for boxing, uh, but I think Luke Campbell is, I think he's going to win because he's got more experience and he's been in the game more than Ryan Garcia. So, But this is one of the biggest tests for Ryan Garcia because he hasn't really fought no one, but this is the first uh, fight he's going to get tested so hopefully he does it and he does it really. To be fair to say you're saying there that Ryan might have a bit of a padded record? Yeah, yeah that's, I, I agree with that one. Yeah. Okay, excellent. And the winner of that fight, I think, will then be fighting uh, for the WBC belt uh, against Devin Haney. So if you say Luke Campbell wins that, do you think Luke against Devin? Is that a great matchup? And who wins that's that? A, that's a great matchup as well. But when you look at it, Devin Haney, hasn't really fought no one either. So, But uh, that will be a test for Devin Haney as well, for both people, Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney. So, so who, who wins out of uh, Haney and Campbell? Haney and Campbell, I say Luke Campbell because he's more experienced as well. And I think he deserves uh, a world title shot straight away as well. Okay, and there's just one fighter that we've uh, slightly missed at that weight, maybe, yeah. and that's Lomachenko. Yeah. Would you say he's the best of the bunch? He's the best, uh, uh, all of them, uh, between Javonta Davis, uh, Deborah Haney, uh, Keith and Lopez, and Ryan Garcia. I think he's the, the best out of the bunch. No one has the style that he has. You know, you've just chucked a couple of other names in there. It's a stacked division with loads of potential. Yeah. So hopefully they fast track you quickly and then you get your chance to fight some of these. Yeah. Did, did you watch the fight of the weekend, the Dillian white Povetkin fight, Adam? Yeah, that was a great fight. It, it was a big shock, but um, it happens, isn't it, So in boxing? so. Yeah, it's just a big left hand out of nowhere, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, excellent. Well, look, thanks for having me down here, as I mentioned. We'll be down after your first fight, yeah. and hopefully you'll have a 1-0 and zero on the record then, all right? Thank you, Thank you very much. Thanks Cheers, Adam. No worries. Jack. 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 Jack.
Вот, share as always if you want to support us to the next level head over to the patreon.com backslash the box enforcement tons of exclusive from border wars and title betting shows the list goes on and on and on but in addition to that if you guys have questions for fighters trainers and promoters this is where you can submit them we will run out get these questions answered and put it back on the show just for you guys appreciate it peace